Hello and welcome to the Draconia News Network. My name is Kai um, and today I will be showing you a few different stories and as I do them um, uh, I will be drawing them up on that TV over there. Um, so yeah, um, let's get right into it. This story um, comes from Markiplier and his channel, uh, his and his some of his friends' channel, uh, Unis Honest, which um, yesterday was deleted for the first, they did it for a year, a whole year, and after one whole year of uploading videos every single day, Unis Honest was deleted. Now the, me the memento of this channel, they basically wanted it um, to be a channel that shows that everything goes away. So after a year, everything went away and Unisonis was deleted. Um, so yeah, um, that, it, and it's like a really cool thing with the yin and the yang and Unisonis. Um, and now it's gone and um, you can't find their videos anywhere except on upload channels um, that are get slowly getting taken down by Markiplier. Um, so yeah, Unis Honest has now been deleted. And now for the segment where I read funny news articles and only get one take to get them right. And now, next up, a new story from UPI.com. An elementary school in France put up a pair of posters outside their fence with unusual requests for parents. Don't throw late students over the closed gate. In Trilliad School in Avignon, put up signs outside its gate showing a cartoon of parents sending a small child airborne to get over the fence. The text on the signs asks parents not to throw their children and instead wait for the gates to be opened at 10 a.m. or 3 p.m. Principal Santa Mazina told Providence parents literally threw their children over the gate when they arrived to find it closed. There were only a few scattered incidents and no reported injuries, but there were enough tossed children to inspire school officials to take action and post the warnings as a reminder. So right now, I'm going to be drawing a parent throwing their kid over the gate. Our next story comes from the Huffington Post in Scotts Valley, California. Police officers in the mountains north of Santa Cruz responded to a suspicious figure on the roadway early Thursday and found Bigfoot. He was a little banged up, but he will be returned to his rightful place at the Bigfoot Discovery Museum in the Scotts Valley De Police Department said in a Facebook post. The Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office has urged people to keep their eyes peeled for a four-foot-tall, 1.2 meters wooden statue after it was stolen outside the tiny museum in nearby Fetlin on Monday. Next up is a story about election ringing in New Zealand's bird competition, Bird of the Year competition. Evidence of election rigging has roiled in New Zealand's Bird of the Year competition after a case of ballot box stuffing has threatened to derail avian democracy. Suspicion began when organizers that received more than 1,500 votes sent from the same email address early Monday. Each vote was in favor of the little spotted kiwi, P Kiwi Pakapunu, according to the statement from Forest and Bird, a conservation organization that runs the election. That is an amazing bird that deserves all the support, but unfortunately these votes had to be disallowed as they've been taken and, and they've been taken out of the competition. Forest and Bird spokeswoman Laura Kwan told NPR's Weekend Edition. The annual event is more than just a bird popularity contest. The conservation group in forest, of Forest and Birds runs an election-based competition to help raise awareness about the New Zealand's native bird species, many of which are endangered. I can only assume people get really excited about New Zealand's native birds, she said, reasoning why someone would want to cheat. They are a land of, we are a land of birds and we have some of the most amazing and unique species. The race isn't over yet. Voting closes Sunday, but Kwan told that said the disqualification immediately lifted one species le legitimately to the top billing. The ka ka kakapu is a rare nocturnal bird known for its owlish beak and yellow-green coloring, the only fi flightless parrot in the world. As of Friday, the an Antodipipian albatross is critically endangered seabird has swooped to the top of the leaderboard. Prime Minister um, Jekin Arden, however, threw her support behind the back black petrel this year again this year, Kwan reported. The hee also known as the stitch bird, earned an official endorsement from a toy retailer. In 
In an honorable move, the 2019 winner, the yellow-eyed penguin, has decided to sit out of this year's competition to let his wing counterpart shine. Despite the alleged fraud, the, fraud, the littlest kiwi has still shot, has shot out of the crown if it picks up enough votes. After all, the underdog species once made a stunning comeback at the main, from mainland extinction. If you really love the peewee, kiwi pukapuku, get out and campaign for them in Bird of the Year. We don't want to see any more cheating in the, bird, the Birds campaign manager, Emma Rawson, said in a pe press release earlier this week as New Zealand's national end but um, the little spotted kiwi represents New Zealanders value, value for democracy, fairness, fairness, equality, and honesty. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Draconia News Network. My name's Kai, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.